My name is Roberto Ojeda. I'm uh, chapter president of Eckerd College Democrats in St. Petersburg, Florida. Really? And now you have a story to tell about not being disenfranchised, correct? Absolutely. Um, has having to do with the National College Democrats organization of the Democratic Party. Um, so basically what happened was um, I showed up to the convention in this very convention hall, the College Democrats of America National Convention. And what happened was we were let through by security and when we were taken upstairs um, to go cast our votes for the executive elections in which we were to elect the president of the national organization, when we tried to walk in, and vote, they denied us entry to the voting because we didn't have proper credentials. Um, so I, I called uh, one of my delegate friends and, and uh, we came here and they didn't let him in either. And we were both chapter presidents um, from, uh, from Florida. So what happened was the DNC officials came over and they started talking to us and they told us that we would have had to get there on Friday for us to get the credentials to be able to vote even though we only the, we, our flight left Saturday from Florida and we came here. And so I explained to the DNC officials that it is within the College Democrats of America rule book that they have to allow every single chapter to cast a vote in the executive elections. And after explaining that to the DNC, they snubbed us. They said, no, we cannot let you in. We cannot let you vote without the proper credentials. And uh, they offered me a bagel on the way out. And it wasn't until later that we found out that uh, Marvin McMoore, who's now the president of uh, College Democrats of America, was seeking his re-election. And, well, since he is, uh, he is a very strong Hillary camp person, um, he didn't want uh, the progressive chapters, such as myself, Eckerd College, such as Chris Riker from Barry University, they didn't want the progressive chapters in the convention hall to be voting on the College Democrats of America national election. And he was able to get himself reelected in that way. Now, I think, I think what that really says, the, the real story here, is that the corruption isn't just on the top level of the DNC, you know, it's, it's all throughout the, the whole hierarchy of the Democratic Party, you know, from the national organization to the state organizations to the college organizations, you know, it's this shutting out of progressive voices and it's this uninclusiveness that, 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 they, keep, that they keep pushing us out of having a voice within the party. It seems to be antithetical to being a liberal or, or on the left to try to uh, shut people's voices down, correct? Absolutely, and you know, within, the de within any party and any organization, it's healthy for us to have diverse viewpoints and for us to have varied, varied opinions because that's what allows the party to become in itself better. And by shutting out all of these voices, the half of the Democratic Party that wants real change, you know, they're, they're rejecting their base and they're going to feel the pain in November if they keep doing that. And so do you feel like you need to change the Democratic Party or do you think you need a third party? Well, at this point, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to try as fight, and fight as hard as I can to reform this party. Um, but that being said, in about 40 minutes, I'm going to go march with Jill Stein um, at her, in her march. And I'm prepared to support the Green Party um, if they do not allow the inclusion of progressive voices. I've already stated to College Democrats of America that if they, if they keep shutting our voices out, and this could happen as early as this week, I will effectively immediately dissolve my chapter of Eckerd College Democrats and create an Eckerd College Green Party chapter because it's unacceptable that the Democratic Party is shutting out young people and shutting out activists that, that want to make real change and want to help people. It's just un, it's unacceptable. Thanks for talking with us. Absolutely. Anytime. Appreciate it. Thank you.